channel keeping up with Kia P and I am your girl your sister a queen Kia P today what we're going to be doing is some resin art yay my favorite because I get to be creative and you guys know I like being creative so I'm gonna bring you down so you can see what we're going to be working on today okay and remember to hit like and subscribe and the bell button so that you can get notifications when I create new things okay Yes, because I would like for you to be part of everything that we are doing. Okay, so today I want to do some Chanel trays and coasters. I've seen a couple of DIYs and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do that myself and just kind of see. And I had some black rocks that um, we are using today. And so I'll pick a few up so you can see them. And they're just some black little um, rocks here that I got from um, Michael's I believe or Joann's I want to say probably Joann's and they are um, they were like five dollars well five ninety nine and I had a coupon normally um, eight bucks so I had a coupon and I, I just went on and got them it was in their Halloween stuff decoration stuff so I was like you know what I can I love black it's my favorite color is black rocks great but then when I saw the Chanel DIYs I was like hmm and so my mind started working and so here we are today right so what I have done, as you can see, is I have outlined my square molds. I have a square mold here that has a indention down um, with like a small little lip on it. And then I have the coasters, the square coasters. And then I also pre-poured my A and my B. It's my A. This is my B resin. And I'm going to use the big, um, the big container to pour them in there and mix it there. I also have paper. Yes. Yeah, so this is what I um, printed out. And this is on sticker paper shiny clear sticker paper so you want to see the white will peel off it's going to be clear and so that will go in there on the big one so i have the big chanel and then i'll go on the big one upside down because everything is facing down and then i have four of these sides that will fit nicely in each coaster and then i'm gonna come back and do some um, background stuff to it because we have to build from the bottom top up with these because the the face is down instead of up towards me like this tray this is a tray i was working on for someone and i did the resin letters separate and i have to tilted so you can kind of see it and I didn't know it was going to go in like that but it's still cute it say okay hashtag okay bye and it has the peace sign and I know you can see the peace sign and the hashtag I'm going to bring it a little bit closer but that's the okay bye and I made them with letters um from a smaller mode I just hate that I put a little bit too much glitter and yeah but it's still cute it's still pretty and it's going to do what it's supposed to do I have to fix it because something um was on it and I had to sand it out smooth so I have to like kind of fix that little edge up a little bit but that's pretty much what we're going to do today so let's get to resin so I'm gonna get my gloves on I got my air everything is where it's supposed to be and I'm super excited about this because yeah and then I think if we have some resin left I'm probably going to um I bought this mold off of line online and it's a Chanel mold too I thought it was bigger but it's not it's real it's like super small you can see if it it's right in my hand and so um but it's like a Chanel button and then this little Chanel um little carve out in there so I was thinking I can use these to do something real cute you know on another project but we may we may uh, pour them just so that we'll have them okay so let's get to resin got my trusty tool here spatula and I like working with these got this from the dollar store um the Dollar Tree actually they were over there in the kitchen um utensils where they have the forks and all of that stuff and they were only like a buck and I like these because they're silicone they're easy to keep clean reuse you can just wipe them off with a baby wipe and be fine so I'm gonna take my part a pour my part a in to the container making sure I get all of it out Scraping the sides. I get all of it. And I am mixing 14 ounces total right now. But I'm hoping I'm not gonna fill this whole tray, these whole trays up to the top because I want to add some white, a white background, rock background to it. Is what I'm trying to um, sorry about that. It's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully it'll come out in my mind like I'm seeing it. It'll come out in life like I'm seeing it in my mind yeah that's how that's supposed to be said so we are we I'm just pouring part a and if you guys know part a is thick it's thicker than part b so it takes a little bit of working with I am using America's best premium epoxy resin 
Now, this resin so far has been pretty good. Um, I've used quite a, pretty much a, quite a few because um, I'll run out and then I don't, I'll order, um, order some. And while I'm waiting on that order to come, I will go and purchase some from the store just so that I can be creative. And so I've used quite a few. This is maybe my number two. Maybe. I have to see. It may be my number two, though, so far. My number one um, so far for product-wise, um, I want to say Illumilite. I, I, that, that, that is, I like it. When I worked with it the, the one time, well, I had a whole bottle, and I worked with it. I got, had got a good deal on it, had a coupon, um, and got a good, you know, for the money. Now, it was okay. But this, um, I'm going to say for the money and for the product, this might be my number one because I didn't think about the cost. And so as far as cost go, this is certainly beating anything. Well, yeah, it's beating what I go buy in the store. That makes sense. I'm not trying to put anyone against anyone or anything like that. I'm just, you know, trying to tell you guys. But, um, and then as far as product, how it how it works I like it because it don't have a lot of bubbles it do have some but not a lot and I want to say yeah and you can stir it like some of them you stir in the bubbles and coming up out in, in the oak you know in the atmosphere this I haven't had this to do that I can stir it pretty good and it don't get many bubbles like it's, it's hardly any and so I like that and price and so yeah that's and that's America's best and this is my first time working with this brand. I saw it online on somebody's page. Um, it was reasonable price, reasonably priced. And so I was like, what the heck, let's try it. You've tried everything else. And so here we are with America's Best. And I like it. It's, it's pretty good, you know. I don't have a lot of bubbles. And I'm sure, and I didn't warm it up. So if you are those, you know, that warm up your resin first and do all of that good stuff, then you'll probably like it because... Yeah, it's not a lot of bubbles at all. And it's clear. So what I'm going to try to do is pour slowly around my edges. Not making sure that I get it in there good. And I'm not adding anything to this resin. I'm keeping it clear because I'm not. Gonna, that's what I need. I need it to be quite and simple, but elegant and cute. All at the same time. Yep, all at the same time. So I'm going to move that out the way. Set that over here. Set that down. And everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to pour real slow. Just in the corners. And just a nice... and careful not too much and then just see what that does because it has to like seep down so I'm gonna move it around just a little bit I'm gonna pour letting all the bubbles kind of come up because the one thing with these um, and then I could just do a little because I just want just a small tiny layer of clear just a small and then I'm gonna put the sticker in it and nothing major just a small tiny layer of clear and I use clear sticker paper and a clip art from online and what I'm doing is just kind of maneuvering the um, rocks not moving them but just maneuvering them them around to make sure that the bubbles will come up because anytime you're pouring something with objects in it you have to make sure that the resin gets around those objects and it, it can kind of get the bubbles out so that one is perfect so far and we're just going to take our time again i can pour just a little bit more bigger uh -oh. vigorously maybe not maybe not Start maneuvering while it's um 
and I'm just tapping, tapping through. I'm not really like disturbing them too much because I just want the black rocks in the rim. Just to kind of give it a border, but I don't want any any bubbles. So we want to make sure we are letting everything just kind of come up. Just a little bit to complete the little circle here. Okay. So we got the little small ones going. I'm going to come over here and do these. It's two more. It's a total of four. And I'll probably speed the video up. Just doing the same thing. And that's just lifting up and it's needed just a smidgen more right there. And that completes that. Okay, I'm gonna pour the, the next two and then I'll come back when I um, put the start with the stickers. Hold time. All right, now that we have everything poured, we're gonna start putting our stickers in. And as I showed you, I had the stickers already pre-printed um, and trimmed. So we're just gonna tear them off from the backing And if you got nails, this may be a, a little bit hard for you if you have artificial nails. But you might can work know how to work with it too. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull the backing off. And then I'm going to place the sticker in the resin, like so. Hoping that everything works like it should. I'm gonna position the sticker. I see a small little bubble there, so I'm gonna Push the sticker down in the resin. And that'll help get those bubbles up to the top. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Meaning my movement, it's a little bubble there, one there, one there. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm pressing that sticker down. And it's nice and smooth getting those bubbles to come up. And so I know it's gonna be real hard to do it with with these gloves, but that's okay. I'm just gonna fill up that little bit right there. Yep, moving on to the next one real quick. Okay, and I noticed when I tore that one off that it has this little line where you can peel them apart and that works great and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my tweezers and then I'm gonna put this one this one in I'm gonna take my stick push it down into the resin I think these are gonna come out like I want them to. At least I hope. I'm gonna get too much. I'm gonna make sure that the sticker is nice and centered. And I'll come back and um, just kind of touch them a little bit, move them around because they gonna float. They are going to float. But so far, so good. Okay, moving on to the next ones. And that really helps having that um, detached part in there. Well, I can detach it from the backing. That's great. And I'm going to place this one in. And I'm placing it ink side down, hoping that that works. Yes. Ink side down. So far, so good. And then on that second one, I noticed when I smooth them like according to the way that they cut that tends to keep them from having bubbles in it 
So start in one direction and work all the way out to the end of the um, sticker. And that kind of seems to kind of keep it from collecting bubbles underneath. At least I think so. Like that looks pretty good. Couple bubbles there. And then what I'm going to do. Fill a little bit more in there. And I don't know if I really like these cups as far as a resin pour because it don't like on a silicone cup the lip keeps the um and we got one more of these to go and then we're gonna do our big one. Super wet. Super wet. Cleans up. That had a nice little paper on the end of it. It's all kind of stuff, right? Alright, we're gonna put this one in. So I'm going to start, press it out that way, all the way to the end, come this way, all the way to the end, pressing the sticker in and I'm just going to work my way up, same direction. So if I start at the bottom of the sticker, I'm going to work my way up to the top and out. And that works as far as having those bubbles or having to kind of knock the bubbles out in between. That seems to help pretty good. And I'm just rubbing my um, little skewer stick over the sticker, position it. And these look good. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to knock some of these bubbles out. Just a little what I can. I don't want to heat it too much. And then that one needs some more, so I'm going to put a little bit in there. What's this looking? Something right there. Make sure everything is nice and, and good. Then for the edges, what I'm going to do is come with the heat gun. The heat I can kind of use it a little bit longer and make sure that all of the bubbles are out along the edges. I'm just going to do any extra bubbles out of it. I can make them clear. I can make them be as perfect as possible. As perfect as possible. I don't have to put anything in that yet, but. Okay, it's looking good, it's looking good. Let's get to our big sticker. Just right here. And we're going to peel it off. Trying to be as careful as possible because it's a big piece. And I'm gonna grab my tweezers, get it off my gloves, and we're gonna position that in. Just kind of lay it on in there. Once we get that in, I'm going to start from the top this time because that's where, and I'm going to work my way on around. Pressing that sticker in to the resin and then working my way down to the bottom. Smoothing out anything as I go. And that tends to work pretty good. Keep the bubbles from in between the sticker and the resin. And see, so it just fills up everything. And I'm just going back, tapping it down, making sure it's nice and, and emerged. I'm moving it, I'm moving it around with the skewer. To make sure that it's good and centered. And it looks nice. 
super cute but I want to pull it up just a little bit towards the top so I can put the words in it but it's looking pretty good I hope my dog don't start barking because I hear the mailman Alright, so this one's going to charge me because there is no separation anywhere. Oh, yes, it is right there. Great. Great. That works. Alright, sticker. And so we're going to put this again. Ink side down. And lay it. start from the C and work my way over pushing it into the resin and that is going to be our first step to this project we're gonna add a white rock background to it and see how that goes right so we had to put this and then I'll start adding those in and then then I'll come pour another layer of resin over all of it but I wanted to get about this part done and then we'll add the rocks and that is looking real good nice even and straight yep it's even and straight even and straight nice and straight everything looks good okay we're gonna fill in the little areas like we did on the other ones and then I'm gonna go get my my rocks together and we'll move on from there so sit tight and I'll be right back still got just a little bit left so I might go ahead well you know what I can use a little bit more here just a little but I'm thinking I'm gonna ink dye this real quick. Rack and I feel that Chanel on. And feel that Chanel on. Um, uh -uh. Feel that Chanel mold. This one here, this little bitty one with, um, Fill that with what's left and we'll see what how that turns out but it's not much i think i might need to cut this open trusty scissors here everything is looking pretty good though and i'm just gonna cut it into this trash and we're gonna and it's an opaque black so that's that's good and we're just gonna mix it because we don't want to waste any resin and then if this fills up, we'll do some letters or something. But you don't want to waste any. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that mixed in pretty good. Edges. Everything kind of mixed in. So we're gonna pour these for this little bitty mold. And I know this is gonna be real tedious. I'm gonna just take my time. The smaller the molds, they, they become those to me are the hardest ones. Oh my goodness. I think you can like do some earrings. I'm just doing it real slow because it's so easy to over pour on these little small molds. I'm gonna slow it slow it back a little bit.
And that might that might do it. One last little drop there. So that is that. Let's see how this come out. That's my first time using this one too. And we'll see how that little baby comes out. Let's see how that baby comes out. And so for the last of it, I still got resin left. Where is where you at? Where you at? Well, I can always do like a black and gold ink pen. Maybe I'll pour a pen. I'm gonna pour a pen real quick. A black and gold pen. <laughs> and my favorite pen mold. Because I do have a favorite. Out of them is this one. So I'm gonna pour a black and gold pen. Okay, we got that going. And so, still got resin left. We're just gonna move this over, set that right there. And if not, we still got some, some residue on here from the last pour. So I'm gonna get that stuff out. Well, I'm gonna like this new pen though. I probably should do two of them. And I think I'm going to. Than had but you get the hang of it you guys know what's going on so we're just gonna keep pouring till we don't have anything left Put that in there. and this mold is a little difficult because it just kind of sits in there but I like the shape of it once you um, make sure there ain't no bubbles or nothing in it I like the shape of it it's really cute and it's getting thick. So I'm just gonna do a nice little pour right in one spot. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to stick my skewer down in there just to make sure we get a squeeze. And that kind of helps the resin get down in there. Go along the bottom, make sure there no bubbles, separations or anything. I'm just kind of running my skewer and see I can see a couple right there but I'm just gonna squeeze and that'll kind of make them either come up now this one remember I told you it's a little bit tricky because the top of it is hidden it's like up in there up in there so what I have to do is squeeze 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 until I can get the resin up in there really good and I'm gonna stick my skewer all the way up back up in there because once the resin reach back there you can kind of work it from there. So I'm gonna clean it up so I can see 
and it just builds right up in there. Squeeze the bubbles to the top, do that for the end here, because the end is the same. And we want to make sure we squeeze the resin. But I like making the pins with my extra resin though, because it just kind of gives you a functional, I like things with function. It don't just look pretty, but it functions. <laughs> So I'm going to blow some of these bubbles out on my tray, keeping it nice and clear. And I see one in between the sticker on this one, so I'm going to come back and so I blow all the bubbles out. That one's looking good, but a couple bubbles there, a couple bubbles here. That looks good, a couple bubbles around the edges here, right there, right there. And I'm just going to make sure everything just stays nice and clear. I told you I had five bubbles right up there at the top. clean it up I still got resin left and I'm trying to go as quickly as I can as quickly as I can so I want to make sure everything is nice and neat and it's nice and neat okay so I'm gonna put a little bit in this other pan not much but a little So here we go. We're going to pour uh, some alphabets. And we don't want that on that paper. So we need it because I think it is kind of still a little bit sticky underneath there. Keep it as clean as I can, but as y'all know, resin gets dirty. All right, so we'll come back in a moment. All right, so we are back, and I filled in one tray already, and I'm still kind of adding some little small rocks here and there. But what I'm using is these white rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree, and they come in all kind of sizes. So what I'm doing is literally like placing them in the resin. I'm gonna come back and put a top layer on it, so I'm just placing them in the resin to cover. The, the whole backup and this is pretty much all you're going to see from our view down and I'm just kind of going putting them in my hand and placing them not not big ones where it won't cut the the last layer of resin won't cover them because you want it to be nice and smooth and not to come taller than the lip but you want to make sure that you have pretty much all of it covered and as you see we do and that's one so I'm gonna go through and they could be like big but long as they flat and fall down in the resin that's fine but you want to make sure that they don't come up past the lips so I'm gonna pour a few of them in here I'm working on this one and you'll just kind of see and I'm just going through and I'm picking out the real big ones because we'll use them for something else we just kind of want the smallest rocks and the flat ones flat small none that's too too boldish boulderish I should say should be the right and we just placing them in there and as they um as you start to fill them up and I got two bags so and like I said I'm just using the small ones that's in there for the backing and then I'll come 
probably come back with um and these big ones I can just go ahead and put them to the side. Like that one might not work. Because it's too big. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Keep it up with Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P. And I'm bringing you back today so that we can complete, demold the Chanel coaster and uh, tray, little small tray that I did. And so this is where we left off with the resin trays and the four coasters. And so now what we are about to do is demold them. Guys, I think they turned out so, so beautiful. So let's get to it. Remember, I filled the edges with black rock and then put my sticker in and then put the white rock behind it as a backdrop. And let's see what we have. Oh, that is pretty. But the stones kind of look blue, like a navy bluish color. But that came off pretty. What do you guys think? I think that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yes, very pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to set that there. Let's look at the other ones. Uh, same thing. Nice and pretty. Oh, I am super proud of these. These are gorgeous. Somebody is going, these are going to make somebody really, really, really happy. Because they will be going up for sale immediately. So if you know somebody who is interested or if you are interested, you can contact me, leave a comment, and I will respond and we We'll get these to you. Look at that. Those came out so cute. And it's got the little lip around the edges. Very, very cute. And they kind of, they have a nice little weight to them too. Because of the rocks. Nice weight. And I like that because they feel expensive. And this is our fourth one. I'm going to go ahead and demold it. And voila, beautiful. Came out nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. Now, I'm thinking I might want to rhinestone the edges, but I'm not sure. I kind of like them just like they are. They look real nice and clean, real classic, not too much. I don't want to bling them out. I might bling the next set. This would be the first, and then I might bling the next set because I'm going to do another one. I liked it so much, so I'm going to pour another one. And this kind of ran over a little bit, so I guess that's why it's having a little bit of time coming away from the mold. And this one, I might have to put some feet on it. I don't know. It's, it sits pretty good. It sits pretty good, but that's the big tray. That came out beautiful beautiful and it has a nice little raised edge along here so you can kind of use it to do whatever you need to do they say it's a rolling tray but you can use it for whatever so i'm going to tidy them up clean off the edges and that's that's pretty much it what do you guys think comment let me know if you like it if you think it's okay, if I should do something else to it, comment in it, comment below. Let me know. Remember to hit share, like, subscribe, and the bell. Hit the bell so you can get um, notifications when I do new projects. And I got some bomb projects coming up. So if you like it, let me know what you think. If you're going to recreate it, let me know as well. Um, I'm going to include the link below the person who inspired me to do the Chanel trays and yeah but it came out super pretty I love it I love it 
And so that's our Chanel set. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell. Ding! So that you can get notifications when I do new projects. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.